All right, y'all, so when we're trying to wake up at 9 a.m. and try to catch that sneaker release and trying to get that sneaker that we really been wanting, but we actually end up taking the L, we all get hot. But if you look at it from a different perspective, man, to be honest, it ain't even really that deep. So here's our top five reasons why taking the L when buying sneakers actually is a good thing. All right, first point is that you get to save money. I can't tell you how much we always talking about that everybody got a bag and we want this money and we trying to keep money in our pocket and everything, but we continue to buy sneakers anyway. So when you take a L, you actually had an opportunity to save money. I know we want to go and get that sneaker so bad because we actually been holding off for that or you just trying to get you the next hottest feature, but at the same time, you still get to save money. Keep in mind, man, more sneakers is going to drop regardless. And if you really want that sneaker, you'll buy it. Being financially fit is way better than actually blowing your bag on some sneakers that you probably will only wear once or twice maybe three times. Point number two is that you won't look like everybody else. This is kind of why I don't actually go for sneakers all the time because I don't want to look just like everybody else. I try to be particular with what I choose, but at the same time, if you really are going for a sneaker and you really trying to get it at this point in time and you take an L, it's okay because just keep in mind with this, if you do miss out on this, you still got sneakers that's fire enough for you to actually wear. You won't look like everybody else because if you were to get it now, nine times out of 10, you about to wear that sneaker at this point of time just to show that you got it and that your sneakers are fire and what everybody else is going to do the same exact thing so when you take an l it's all right because you're not finna look like another one of these minions point number three is that you have the opportunity to think if you really want this sneaker or not it's been multiple times where i see a lot of people try to buy a hottest sneaker as fast as they can why because they're trying to fit the trends they're trying to fit to the joneses or they're just trying to buy just because if you take an l you actually had an opportunity to think if you really want this sneaker or not now it's gonna go on resale price. So that means that price is gonna be even bigger. So if you really do want that sneaker, you will sit back, relax, and it goes back to my point number one, save your money. You get to save your bag for something that you really want. You get to go after it at a later point and just keep an eye on it. And actually the sneaker market is kind of crappy right now because as fast as it go up, the price actually drops down just a little while after. So all you have to do is keep your eye up on these sneakers and wait till it drop back down at the golden point and buy the shoe again. You're actually gonna spend just a little bit extra in order for you to get a sneaker that you really want. So this give you the chance to think if you really want this or not. If you want it, go and get it. If you don't, you got the opportunity to think of another collaboration sneaker or another hot sneaker that you really have been wanting and you get to save a bag again and go after the next sneaker that you want or save your money and go after for something else. Point number four, this will force you to go back into your collection of sneakers and sometimes you forget that you even had sneakers. It actually gets you a chance to reconnect with your collection, look inside and see what you haven't worn in a while and you actually get to style in multiple ways. So taking that L instead of getting some new sneakers, you can actually go in your closet or go in your collection or on your shelf and actually look to see if you have something that you haven't worn maybe in a year or so or years later go and grab those sneakers out and you'll probably see that damn i haven't even worn these sneakers in forever maybe i need to go and test these out so taking an l actually could get you reacquainted with your sneaker collection again and my last point is that it pushes your creative mind when it comes to creating a unique sneaker collection most of the time we try to buy so many sneakers and we really don't have a collection that actually means something to us because you're just buying trendy sneakers if you really are trying to have a fire collection you will understand the type of sneakers that you're actually going for. You'll see that you're trying to create a unique collection and it just forces you to then pick and choose the right ones instead of trying to go for every single sneaker that's hot. So taking the L is okay. If it rolls back to saying, if you really want it, you will save for it. And if you really want that sneaker, you will go for it at a later point in time and then add it to your collection. But if not, it's okay. Cause maybe you just passed up something that really didn't fit your collection or something that really didn't fit your character in the first place. Move forward, get you some fire sneakers that actually work to your uniqueness or something that actually speaks out to who you are as an individual when it comes to grabbing these sneakers all right y'all hopefully that added something to ease your mind whenever it comes to taking an l when buying sneakers we know that we get up at nine o'clock or probably later or 10 to try to get these sneaker drops and it's not just nike it's not just adidas it's all these fire sneakers and collaborations that's coming out it's okay to actually take an l think about these five things that i just listed out i know these five may feel like man i'm still hot about it but at the same time life goes on man it's just sneakers and I understand that this is the life and the culture that we live, but at the same time, there's no reason to blow a fuse. You always got an opportunity to buy some more heat that's coming later on at a different point in time. 
With that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. I'll catch up with y'all next time. Y'all already know how this goes. I'm your homeboy, Cam Quarter Banks. I'm out. I'm gone. I'll holler at y'all. Peace.